<clears throat> hopefully next week I will have um, that all fixed up. I was uh, actually using my phone and playing my phone and trying it that way. Now I'm going to jump over real quick since this is our first um, our first stream. I'm going to see if uh, if it's playing on Facebook just to check in, make sure everything's working good because we know how things go. And uh, it definitely looks like it's working. Let's make sure I can hear it on Facebook. Just to check in, make we sure we can hear it. Okay, that's good. probably going to not be good here in a little bit. <clears throat> I'll keep monitoring that, make sure it stays hooked up. Um, Pop A Bear is going to be joining me as soon as he can. He's a busy guy. He's always got a lot going on. So, and, and you know, if he makes it, he makes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Uh, love to hear from him. He's got a lot of good information and a lot of great thoughts on things. And so we're going to do this as often as we can. I'm going to do this every week along with some other things. You can see I'm sitting out here in my little, uh, studio where I record books and stuff. Let me pray for us before we get started. And, uh, and here pretty soon we will be, uh, hopefully, hosting this uh our i'm trying to get to where can i do these both at the same time show and show i guess not you're going to do one or the other our seven presents show okay well let's go with that pontificating pastors let me pray for us father god i thank you for this day and this time i thank you for your word and uh, the ability that we have to come on to a place like this speak with you. I don't know how it works. You know, you say in your word where two or more gathered in your name, there you are also. Uh, we often take that as a, uh, to mean a place, but what about when we gather like this? I'm going to assume that, uh, you can handle that. <laughs> we just thank you for being with us. We pray that you would be with the show tonight. Help us have a good discussion and, uh, help pop have no trouble getting in and th bless those that hear. Um, and so bless us as we speak. And Lord, we just pray that it would go out. People would be saved. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Now, in that vein, people should be saved. You're going to hear this verse a lot. I'm going to start right off with it. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's it. Confession, belief. That's what it takes. Any questions? We uh, should have a, uh, there should be, I don't know how it works, but there's a host chat there. So that's up. This is going to take a while. We're not, it's been a long time since I've done it. We're not going to jump right into it uh, and have everything perfect. We have, um, I mean, this is, you know, th it's been a long time ago since we developed this little guy here. Um, I mean, look at no facial hair and very short hair. Actually, my daughter-in-law developed that for me long, long ago. Um, R7 video, just so you understand, R stands for remnant. Seven is the number of completion. If you notice the CSR up here, common sense resistance is what that stands for. And that actually comes from a guy named Bill Whittle. If you get a chance, look him up on YouTube. He's, uh, I've been listening to him for a long time. And this idea of the common sense resistance is a great idea. That's actually his logo that he had developed with the hand and the tools, people working together across the country. Really cool. Um, let me check in with pop real quick and see if he is, if he's just not being able to get on or what I'm going to won't let him. Um, okay. Um, it's saying he won't let him. Let's 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 send him the uh, let's send him a new link. Okay, how'd that be? Here we go. Facebook. We don't want to miss out the opportunity. Um, so we're going to send him another one. Maybe that'll work. Hopefully that'll work. We'll see. Let's give that a second, and uh, let me get back over here to see if he if he jumps in. There's uh, something that said earlier, I had a, a little thing that said screen share was a problem. Um, it's really odd that it won't let him jump in. Let's give it a second. He's trying. He wants to come in. Anyway, we're going to talk about a few different things tonight, and I really hope he gets the chance to talk with us. I'm afraid I saw earlier a little thing that said... 
Chrome doesn't allow screen sharing. Let me check on this a little bit. Um, be, I mean, because we had it working the other day, right? Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it there. Just bear with me. This is like I said, this is our first time. You got to give me a little bit. See if it's going to see if it's going to work and get some bugs figged out, Fix, figged out. I'm going to fig them out. All right. So I come in here. I go to settings. Maybe we go to sync and Google services, manage, uh, allow Chrome in. Let me do a search settings, um, screen share. No results found screen. No, you, you got to spell the things right. I guess in that weird, um, Wait, I think, I think that he has joined us. Aha! Hold on, let me bring him on screen. There he is, my friend and yours, coming on in three, two, one. Pop a bear, say hi to everybody, buddy, buddy, buddy. Say hi, buddy. Good evening. It told me. And I'm just saying. It told me that it you could use the old one. So my bad, not your bad. It, it kept just telling me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we'll just well, have to remember that for next out. time. Yeah. I was afraid that it was a, uh, it was a problem with, um, they had this screen share thing. Anyway, I've got us introduce kind of know what we're doing. Just let everybody know pontificating pastors. We kind of decided that would be a good name. Um, for those of you that don't know, don't know him, this is uh, pop a bear and, uh, he preaches down at new hope Baptist church down in Louisiana been a good friend of mine for a long time and a mentor and uh we're really actually very lucky to have him on now we we rib each other and gig each other a lot so that's probably the last nice thing you're going to hear me say to him but you know it uh it, it comes out every once in a while so here's the deal I, i've i've got a rough outline for us tonight um three things that i've written down we may get to them we may, may not pastors and politics what does god say where does it say it um, President Trump's first acts, what would we like to see him do right away? And this idea of hate speech, you know, uh, should it be regulated? Should these uh, media sites like YouTube and other places be considered public or private? They're actually now tipping a toe in both waters when it's convenient for them. And so we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Let me hide that, get, the, get rid of that little thing. Okay, well, Pop, I'm going to start off with this. Um, I'm going to play a little, a little clip if it's okay with, uh, Dinesh D'Souza. If you guys get a chance to see him, he is touching on this subject of Christians specifically, uh, and politics. And when we get done watching this, it's kind of long. I'm not going to go into it totally. I'm just going to let it play for three minutes and then we'll have a talk about it. Sound okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. So let me, uh, see, we show this in stream. We can just play it. As we our last question, I'm going to read because it came in over email. It's Susie from Florida. Dinesh, we always hear <coughs> that we need to be involved in politics, but as Christians, shouldn't our hope just come from Jesus? Now, I think that anything. the yeah. Let me pause this for a second because we can comment. Can you hear it or not? I can. I can hear. I can hear a vague noise. All I can hear. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Okay. Um. Yeah, Let's see. I'll tell you what. Let me do this. I'm going it, to it, see once again, folks, stick with us. We're working out a lot of bugs and different stuff. And um, I'm going to I'm going to send this to him. Do you have another source that you could watch this on? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, I let me see prepared. if you are prepared like a good boy. Let's see if I can find his. Uh, course i'm not going to find that exact one because that would be too easy let's see if i can share it from where i'm at share yes i can so here well it says i can but how do i copy let's see uh 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 uh, uh, uh. i don't see it now what's your email brother i'll send it to you or do you not want to say that out loud on uh uh, Wait a minute! I, I think I got. I think I got it right here. I don't have access to my email on this other. On this oh, other. okay, so that won't work. Uh, isn't this fun? Thanks for sticking yeah, with us. Um. All right. 
Let's get back here. Okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna forget about that. Um, it, it, it's a good idea, but we'll tell me to... what it was about. Yeah, yeah. Basically, okay. So let me tell you what happened. I got to looking at, um, hey, should Christians be in politics? And there, are, me and Pop talk about this all the time. There are a couple of pastors out there that I really respect. I listen to. They have a little bit of different beliefs on other things that we'll probably get into someday, namely Calvinism. And um, one of them was talking about that he didn't feel like pastors should have anything to do with politics. And what he was saying was uh, politics is not the gospel. That's not our kingdom. Uh, nothing that nothing that we do here in this kingdom of the United States or of this world is going to affect God. God is going to have his will. He's going to do what he needs to be done. And we should just be busy about the gospel. Dinesh D'Souza comes in and I thought he had a really good take on, um, on that, but evidently the Lord just wants you and I to get <laughs> our take on this about how pastors, what, what do we think should be their involvement? And I'm just going to start off real quick. I'm just going to read a verse and let's bounce off. Uh, let's bounce off this biblical verse. Uh, second Timothy four two. preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Yeah. We see very, famous uh bible so go ahead tell you tell us what your what's your how's your view of preachers and the, in the pulpit and politics and how all that works well let me start off with a verse uh matthew 5 13 you are the salt of the earth but if the salt loses its taste how can it be made salty again it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet it goes on saying verse 14 you're the light of the world a city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light shine before us, then they see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Now, uh, that verse says, I am to affect, I'm to have an effect on my surroundings. And if we pull, if, if, if Christians remove ourselves from politics we're going to end up with what we got <laughs> right <laughs> and that's what's been happening for years and and yeah. the founding fathers of the founding fathers there were numerous uh there's 56 founding fathers of that 56 founding fathers every almost everyone without exception was christian despite what you hear these revisionists say yeah, uh, there was there was one guy who was who claimed to be a deist and it wasn't Thomas Jefferson, by the way, it was somebody else. But uh, Jefferson, many of those many of those guys, there were four, there were four who were who were ministers or had been ministers that signed a Declaration of Independence. Almost all of them were active churchgoers. And uh, a guy named John Jay, who became the first Supreme Court justice. Uh, uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, I mean, uh, he was a devout Christian. You know, we think about founding fathers. We always just mention Jefferson and Adams and and and, and uh, George Washington. There was a whole bunch more of them. Right. And then, and, and like you say, the revision is trying to pretend that, well, they just, you know, they, they believe there was a God, but they weren't really all that into it, you know, kind right. of ideas. Well, for instance, thou, everybody wants to blast Thomas Jefferson because of some of his views. And, you know, he wrote the Jefferson Bible, which I don't know, I'm not an expert on it, but he removed Jesus from it. It was what I'm told. I've never looked at one. But at the same time, Jefferson, while he was, while he was in Washington, D.C., started the, the National Bible Society, yeah. which the Bible right. Society was in charge of printing Bibles for for people to have, you know, right? We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have Bibles today probably in this country had he not started that. Yeah, that's amazing. And, what a what an organization. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I went down to uh, Honduras many years ago, and there's a big old building there in the middle of Honduras that says the Honduran Bible Society. That's. You know, <laughs> Somebody had to decide we're gonna we're gonna make a Bible in our language, right? And this is where we're gonna start it at, and that happened. It's, it's in Honduras, and I'm sure they got one in Costa Rica somewhere, and I'm sure they got one in every country around the world where people decide to make Bibles. But a little off track there, but but pastors, I don't believe, I don't necessarily think 
well, I don't necessarily believe we should all just abandon our pulpits and run off to D.C. to become senators or representatives. No. Right. But we have a role. And we, we've been we've been voluntarily hamstrung by this this idea that if if I say anything, uh, they're going to they're going to start taxing us. Right. The right. And I kind of swing to the to the to the end of the spectrum that says let them tax us yeah because then then there's no there's no holes barred we can say whatever we want to say yeah and and the thing is they're not going to do that that's they're not going to do it that's the that's a that's a method by which they try to silence the church right there's a lot of speculation if that's even true or not you know you've got these right organizations out there i can't think of the guy right now but you know they're always bringing lawsuits up center for law and southern Southern poverty law center is one of them okay and 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 then you got and you got uh uh this this group that they're an atheist group and and they they they, they're they're they're, i can't remember their name but but their their organization name sounds almost like they're christian but they're they're not yeah Well, and yeah. too, so let me throw this in there because what you're talking about is exactly kind of where uh, Dinesh was going is that we, our background is Christian. That's where, right. you know, there was a time in America where you didn't have to say, well, I think God would like this or that because everybody already, they would have claimed we were a Christian nation. Most people claim to be Christian. Even those that didn't claim to be Christian went to church, but we are, we're now it's completely flipped. We are under attack all the time. So go ahead and yeah, continue on that train of thought. Well, it's just it's just that simple fact. We're we're constantly the, the church is being attacked. Now here's and I'm not trying to throw shade on anyone here, but certain sects of Christianity can say all they want, but others can't. Right and. And, and and it's it's like you know I'm I don't want to go there because I don't want them to lose that ability either. Yeah. But you know if if you're typically what well, what it boils down to, and I'm not well, people going to build me what to build me. But if you're if you're if you're a white heterosexual male in this country, and if you're a Christian to boot, you're you're some kind of space alien. Yeah, you're at the bottom of the totem pole. Yeah. Yeah, but but I mean not only that, you're you're some kind of freak. That that the that the you know those on the left just want to want to you know look at you and 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 chastise you and belittle you. Yeah. And and I got big shoulders, so it doesn't bother me that they, that you try to do that. But you know, uh, but there unfortunately there are some who, who get intimidated by that. And then we have those pastors out there who are liberals, and they go along with all that junk. That's oh, crazy. It's just really- and I don't know how you can read the Word of God and go along with all that junk. But anyway. Yeah. You know, well, I think like that's this- just it. They're not. They're. They're. They don't believe that the word is relevant like we do. You know, we. It's just like it, it was MacArthur who I was listening to, and he uh, was. He was coming out of this idea that, uh, you know, all listen preachers, everything should be pointed towards the kingdom and the gospel, and and it should. And, and it I should. right. And, and Bill Britt. You, you, Bill Britt has said many times, you know. If I were to if I were to take the job of president of the United States, I'd have to step down from the role I'm at. Yeah, you know, right. It, it, I'd be taking a demotion because I have calling. a I, I have a high calling from yeah. God, and I and I believe that. But it doesn't stop me from being active in politics. You know, uh, I have a, I have a vote. You 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 go with this thing about throwing your stone. Uh, I I throw my rock every chance I get. You know, right. It, it, it's what we're supposed to do. You know, I was taught in civics when I was a kid in high school, and that was 10 years ago. But I was taught in civics that we had a a, a responsibility, a, a civic responsibility to our country to cast our vote. And to and to, you know, for instance, if I get a jury summons, I've got to go serve on a jury. Yeah. OK. If, if you know, at the same way, I, I got to vote and I need to vote. Right. And my my Christian, my, my Christianity. It doesn't matter if I'm on jury duty or if, I, if I'm looking at the at, at, at politics, I can't separate me from my Christianity. Yeah. If I if I can, I'm not much of a Christian. Right. Yeah. And it tells us, you know, God says, occupy until I come. We're supposed to right. 
we're, we're here. Know, we're in the world. Well, we're not. We're, we're not we part can't. Of the world. We can't hide ourselves. Right. We can't go. We can't go hide under a rock or become this little commune of people who you know us us few and no more. We we can't do that. Our yeah. whole 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 basis is to go out and, and touch the world for Christ. And to do that, you got to be salt and light. To do that, you got to get out among them. Yeah. And it 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 means even in politics. If Christians were to remove themselves from politics totally, we would be in far worse trouble than we're already in. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree 100%. And that's the that's the whole thing, you know, this For idea instance, that on the elect, on election night, I think you saw I think you sent me the video or I sent it to you, but it doesn't matter. Uh Trump's people and I'm not hailing Trump as Lord and Savior. I, 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 definitely not that. I, I I did vote for him, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Yeah. But I wouldn't have voted for the other side for nothing in this world because of what they stand for. Yeah, that's right. It's about what they stand for. That's yeah. that's what I'm against. Yeah. But but it you know Trump's people that night uh, after when when the election was called for Trump, they had a prayer meeting. Yeah. Now I don't think he was present, but I, but a lot of his 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 political advisors were gathered in this prayer meeting. And there were some I recognize some of the faces. There were some pretty you know big name people in that room. Yeah, and they they were singing uh, "How Great Thou Art." Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I you don't know, know sent that to me or I sent it or what. You yeah, keep one of talking those, in just a second. I've got to I've got to come off camera and keep going. I've got to check my uh, I've got a plug in that's not working. Go ahead. But you know it, it's just that constant thing of, of of we've got to you know the left says we got to give in to them. Well, I don't I don't give in to anybody. That's just not how I I, I, I live. But, and, and nobody should, we, we all have a voice. We all have a right to use that voice and we should use it every opportunity we get to, to, uh, make things move in the political spectrum in this country. I just feel that's how it's supposed to be. Right. And I don't think I'm wrong in that in any way, you know? Are we to be radical and go out there and start burning down buildings like the left did in you know four years ago? No, that's not what we're supposed to do. No, you know I don't I don't necessarily approve of January six. I understood the frustration. Yeah, but I didn't. I did. I, I told my my wife the day before it happened. I said I hope when people go up there and behave. Right. Because yeah. it's like a setup to me. Yeah, and you it know? was. And it was. Yeah, it was. And yeah, and this is know, the thing we're we're in a position where we have you know the the world has got it so that we can't we can't love and have love and truth at the same time because they've redefined love as you're going to let well, me do whatever I want to do and support whatever they've I want. They redefined truth also. Yeah. I mean there, there's only one truth. <laughs> right. That shirt you have on is black. Okay? It it yeah. can't be any other color. It, right. it, it that's the color it is. Yeah. Your 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 beard is gray. There's no other color that says what that beard is. Yeah. Yeah. Facts yeah. are facts. Facts don't facts care about feelings facts. as uh... Right. And truth, truth, truth don't care about your feelings. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. And you know, it, it is it, too many people want to say, well, this is my truth. Well, you can't have your own truth. It's right. truth is not subjective to the person speaking it. Yeah, truth you is know, truth. Truth is truth, you know. Yeah. Kind of like I heard a story years ago about, about this old man. He was he was a, a World War II vet, and you know they were hanging out in a, in a bar room, and 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 one old man was starting to tell a story, and the other old man said, "You know, shut your lying mouth. You know, we all know that's a lie. So, but let me tell this good. You know, <laughs> it's right. <laughs> he knew he was lying, but it was yeah. a good story, so he just wanted to tell a story. Yeah, right. You know, and yeah. and that's how so many people are today. They just wanna they just wanna have their way. And, you know, like I, I, I say this all the time in church, you know, the same Burger King, the same about have it your way. You yeah. Know? If you want to have it your way, go buy a Whopper. But yeah. And, and, you know, but, the thing about this idea of us being separated from the politics and separating that from our religion or our belief system, um, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't hold water. You, you have to live out what you believe. And this idea that the only, you know, if, we're only supposed to preach the gospel. Well, the Bible is bigger than just Christ died, was buried, and was resurrected and paid for mm -hmm. your sins. That's the basis. Everything points us toward that. That was interesting. Points us toward that. It just corrects itself. Wow. Uh, 
I can't do that. My computer's well, actually, I can't. Oh, I was that. trying to turn it horizontal so it would give me a different view, but it, it didn't. It didn't work. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? It's uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that we're supposed to, and even the verse that I read, you know, we've got to correct and rebuke. That's not that doesn't just concern salvation. That's talking about a Christian life within the church, and we are called to be shepherds. And and I, I agree with you 100. percent We we are called to be salt and light. And so we can't do that if if we're not involved. Yeah. Right. I, I just, that's okay. good, good drive for me. Yep, me too. Well, uh, let's move on to this next subject. President Trump's, um, let's just talk about President Trump for a little bit. Um, you know, when he first came on the scene, I wasn't a Trump guy. I really nope. thought that Trump was, was really just I... the opposite side of the coin of Hillary. He was just going to say what he needed to. And then, and then when he got in, he was going to do this. But I'll tell you what, if all he'd have done was uh, move the embassy to Jerusalem, I'd have been like, okay, right. well, that's better than most presidents have done in their lifetime. Right. Everybody's um, talked about it. Nobody's done it. Yeah. And yeah, there I was, was actually a, a Ted Cruz guy back in those days. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then he just kept fulfilling promises and fulfilling promises and doing what he said he was going to do. So, you know, this time around, I, what are you looking for? What do you, what do you want to see him do as soon as he gets in the office? You know, he's talked about a few things, but what are some things that you would like to, you know, to just immediately see him go, okay. You know, like for one, I'll give you, I'll give you a starter. I'd love for him to step in and go, hi, everybody. I'm president. Now start building the wall. <laughs> Let the January six people, you know, there's a couple of those that there, there's, there's, a, there's a few things. I probably can't think of all I, that I'm trying to think of right now, but number one, shut the border down. Yeah. Round up all these illegals that have come in here and send them home. Yep. And people think, Oh, that's so horrible. No, they didn't come here legally. They didn't come here the right way. There's a process by which you can come here. And we let, we, 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 we let people in by the millions every year. And we love for them to come if they do it legally. the right way. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, here's the thing. I, or you, I could not go to Mexico Yeah. and tell them I'm going to live here. Right. Because if I go down there, I have to, I have to show them proof of income Yeah. that I have a sustainable income to take care of me while I'm here. I show them proof that I have insurance so that my medical bills won't be a burden to the state Mm -hmm. that I will take care of my own medical bills. Yeah. Any country you go to. Yeah. Right. I have to show them proof of, of that. I can take care of myself and don't need them to take care of me. Yeah. And, and if, if, you know, if all these, if, if, if half of America right now decided to go to some other country, you know, which I wish all these Hollywood people would fulfill their promise and do that. But yeah, uh, if, if half of the country right now were, were, were to leave and go to some other country, they can't just up and go. They've got to have all the right paperwork, right? They can't just, you know, go in and, and then they certainly can't, go in and draw welfare when they get there. Yeah. You know, it's, cr- it's incredible. And, and, it's incredible. And we, we, we are destroying our welfare system. We're destroying our social security system. We, we're spending, you know, for instance, the, the word was it, during this, this North Carolina storm that was so horrible. The word was, is that FEMA spent all the money on, on illegal aliens. Right. You know, hello. That's not what FEMA money is supposed to be spent for. Yeah. That's, that's for supposed to be for hurricanes and and that type thing right but now we got no money all, left for, for now we got no money to help help american citizens mm. who are devastated yeah but we don't have the money to help them yeah and that by the way that's something else i'd like to see president trump do is fix that little problem yeah yeah it sounds like he's going to do a lot of fixing of a lot of problems i'm well he's, uh, he's also going to go in there and, and at, least, at least what they're saying is go in there and reverse all these executive orders that that Joe Biden has has done, which is what basically what Joe Biden did the day he walked in office. He right. came in and started signing papers and got rid of everything Trump had done while he was in office. Yeah, almost everything. He kept the tariffs and the things that that really worked really well. And, yeah, and but he had his own agenda and he started getting rid of those things. And one of those things was he stopped the wall. He stopped the the, the pipeline. Uh, and and that's another issue. We need that pipeline built. We need to drill, drill, drill. Right away. Yep. Get, put get America back, back in production yep. and put us back independent. We, we were independent when he left. Yeah. When he left the office, we were in the, we were in the, all, we didn't, we didn't rely on nobody for oil. We had all right. we needed. Right. America has more oil than any country 
on the face of the earth. Yeah. We've well, got more oil than the Saudis have. Right. But I don't know f- for what you know crazy reason these these leftists don't want to drill here. Yeah. Well, it boils down to that virtual that virtue signaling. You know, well, we don't do that to our country. You know, we're going to get our stuff from somewhere else. You know, they don't they they just yeah, not let's let's devastate their 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 country. Yeah. Let's 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 let their slaves, you know, mind the mind yeah. the uh, uh what's that stuff they use in batteries uh cobalt or uh what is it called? Cobalt what I was thinking. Me too. But, that may be it. Um, but uh, we know what you're talking about, you know, yeah, the, the, but for all these, for all these, elect, you know, all these electric cars, they need all these, these batteries. And so they're, they're strip mining Afghanistan right now. That's the reason we pulled out of Afghanistan, to let China go in there and have at it. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy what, what we're doing and, and calling it, you know, calling it good. I mean, yeah, how, how has that affected you? You're right down there in the middle of all the uh, oil and gas and all the refinery type stuff down there where you're at. I, I that... don't, I don't, well, there was a big layoff down this way uh, before, uh, before Trump got in office the last time. Oh, okay. And, and some of it got corrected when he came back, but I really haven't heard any, any big numbers on, on that right now. Louisiana's, uh, Oil and gas industry still still functioning, but I mean, because what what Biden did, he initially made all these things. We're not going to, you know, no drill, no drill. No. He's 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 had to. He's had to he's had to let you know come come off of that a little bit, right? And so he so has you still allowed, got stuff. You still got stuff coming in. It's just where right. where is it coming from? But the thing yeah. is, a lot of our oil right now is coming from offshore, not not, yeah. not necessarily offshore rigs, but from it's coming on ships. From Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And here's another thing that our oil is clean. Their oil is dirty. Right. Which takes much more processing. Gotcha. And refining to get it to the point of, of usability. Um, and it's just this is what it, but I mean, the oil industry's not booming like it like it was once upon a time. I know that. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you about this. Um what do you think about, so he's got the house, he's got the Senate, the presidency, we've got a good Supreme court. What do you By think about margin. <laughs> getting in? Yeah. But, but what do you think about getting in there right away and just solidifying the voting process with IDs or doing something with that so that we can once again, trust our election. It absolutely should. But our, our problem probably going to be is there's enough rhinos left in the Senate. And even a few in the house, that are going to mess it up. Yeah. Just like, just like the last time when you had John McCain who yep. stepped in there and stopped, stopped the, uh, what was the that? Affordable the, care the, act. Somebody the affordable care act. They were going to, they were going to, they were going to do away with it totally. Yeah. Which, which to me was the right thing to do because it was a bad, it was a bad, bad law. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not say some people weren't, weren't getting some, some advantage of it and use of it. Yes, but it was a bad law. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It, it is a bad law. Uh, I can tell and, you just from firsthand experience of coming from the missionary field and being poor and we still haven't, we're, you know, we're on the upper end. Uh, Nani and I are on the upper end of the lower class. Uh, maybe, maybe right getting into the start of middle class, but we've always had to have help with our medical assistance it really didn't, it didn't change for us because the people that were in really bad shape, we had coverage already. The government was already helping us to do that. All they did is made it for so many more people uh, that, that probably didn't need it because we're almost at a point where. Well, what I found interesting is that they call it the affordable care act, but my insurance doubled. Right. (laughs) A lot of my friends. What's affordable about that? I yeah, mean, yeah. I, I I give Pop here a hard time every once in a while. I was like, thanks for paying for my insurance, buddy. Yeah, he's like, because that's I mean, what's my happening. Insurance, my insurance literally went from, I was paying $800 a month for, actually more than double. I was paying $800 a month for me and Mel to have insurance. When It's crazy. It was after the first, see, it didn't happen right away with the Affordable Care Act. It happened about two years in. Yeah. All of a sudden, two years in, I got a bill from Blue Cross Blue Shield. I'm... I owe them twenty four hundred dollars a month instead of eight hundred dollars a month. 
Wow. To keep the exact same insurance. Just incredible. That's because you're paying for mine, other people's. It's exactly what it's but, it's but it was it's just it was ridiculous. Well, it's so not I free. I couldn't afford Somebody's that. Paying. Yeah. I couldn't afford that. Yeah. And so we had to go do something different. Yeah. You know. And it, it it's it's just it's ridiculous. I think they're yeah. I think you know, I will tell you if if he if they'll if the rhinos will stay out of the way. And this is what you got folks out in the states you gotta do. You gotta get on these people, watch them like hawks and let them know they're gone in two years if they block all this stuff and cause trouble because well see it it's already began. Uh you know, Mitch McConnell, the Senate majority leader. Cocaine uh, well, Senate, my, Senate Senate minority leader. I'm sorry, yeah. uh, because that's who he was at the time. Right. Uh, he used to be the the Senate majority leader, but now he's the minority leader. But he decided not to not to run for that position again. But instead of waiting for the for the new Congress to come in and just doing it then, they decide to pick leadership now. Right. Now now here's what I'm told that they allowed the newly elected senators to come and vote. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. But they also allowed the previous senators to vote. So they had, you know, extra votes. That's interesting. In, in the mix. And, and he, and so what, what happens is, is Thune, who's a never Trumper out of North Dakota. Yeah. He gets, he gets the position after the after the second round of votes, he gets the position, and again he was a never Trumper. Now right now he's saying he's going to do all he can to help President Trump pass his agenda. Blah 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 blah. We'll see. It's all the proof's going to be in the pudding. We're going to wait and see what yeah what comes with it. But it's it's uh, it's troublesome. Yeah. That they they felt the need to to just they got to start now. I mean why why couldn't you wait another two months and pick that guy? Yeah, that they point? need listen. They need to vindicate. Trump and give him what he wants. Let him run his team. Give him the opportunity. This this whole idea of blocking this and blocking that, um, I Trump, just that's my teeth on edge. Well, see the Senate. The Senate always thinks they're they're this group of people that it's above everybody else. They're not like the House. The House is the people's house. The Senate is is the ones. Their attitude is well, we we keep everybody from losing their mind. You know, right? And that but that's where things bog down is in the Senate. Yeah. They rarely bog down in the House. They bog down in the Senate. Mm -hmm. and, and if you've got a, I believe the House were fine, uh, even though I don't know what the what our what our margin is right now. It's not going to be yeah. a huge margin. Yeah. But, but but if Republicans will stick together, and that's always been the problem. That has been the problem. Yeah, it, exactly. Right. Demo, Demo, Democrats like them, hate them, whatever the case may be. They are in lockstep on everything. Yeah. The only thing the only thing saved us in the last four years is one Democratic Democratic senator named Joe Manchin. Yeah, Manchin. And and he he just he blocked him on so many things because he yeah. knew it was going to hurt him at home, so he just refused to do it. Now Joe Manchin's an independent, but yeah. he tends to vote with the Democrats more often than the Republicans. Yeah. And I think he did that so he could so he could keep being senator in his state. Yeah. Because people aren't going to elect a, a Democrat again. But I don't understand that. That's of course a whole nother story. But you got, you know, Democrats have done nothing but hurt the 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 coal industry, which is what West Virginia is. And how people keep voting for Democrats there is beyond me. I never will. Yeah, that. there's a, there are some things that I just cannot. You know, Pelosi getting back in, I don't. Well, I that's comprehend. California. California yeah. is a whole nother world. California different, and New York, different story. Just, yeah, there's something in the water in those in those places. <laughs> Something. All right. Well, let's move on to uh, this idea. This last one. We'll just talk on this a little bit. M what's happened over here is my mouse is froze up. So everything's working, but I can't operate my board. So I can't do my little, cr I can't do anything. We just talking and we're just going to, we'll have to do that and I'll figure this out. I'm probably going to have to get a little new piece for my computer, but uh, let's move on to this last idea. Um, we're going into a situation where when we're already upset about all of the um, um, with YouTube and Facebook and t whoever it is, this censorship that's going on and this idea of um, is there such thing as hate speech? I, I had another little video I was going to show 
with Jordan Peterson well, talking about. Well, let's fix this. Let's, let's just talk do this before you go too much further there. Yeah. Hate speech. You know, we passed this hate crime, hate crimes bill uh, seven yeah. years ago. Right. And so now there are hate crimes. Well, the Ten Commandments, God's holy word. If you will look at what it says, and let's go to what Jesus did when he summed them all up in two commandments. Love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and all your might. Love your neighbors yourself. Yeah. So one commandment dealt with the first four commandments, which, which dealt with our relationship with God. And one commandment dealt with our relationship with everyone else in our lives. And it's to love one another. Yeah. So based, based upon the word of God, and it's amazing what, how, how the word of God's always right. But, <laughs> yeah. But based on the word of God, every crime is a hate crime. Right. I steal from my brother because I hate him. I, I, I covet from my brother because I hate him. I, I, I lie to my brother because I hate him. Uh, you know, that's, that's the gist of it. I yeah. commit adultery because, because I hate whoever, you know, yeah. I hate my wife. I hate, I hate, I hate, you know, my neighbor's husband or whatever the case may be there. You know, right. It's not love. Uh, it definitely isn't it's because definitely you love not your love. Neighbor. It's yeah. not because if you loved them, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do those things. Yeah. You know, and, and so all crime is hate crime. But now this hate speech thing, once again, that's simply trying to silence those they don't like what they say. Yeah. And, and, and this is the thing about free speech. Um, this is We all understood this until five minutes ago, that free speech meant you were going to hear things from people who hate you, but they have a, they have the freedom to say what they want to say. So people ask me, you know, do I believe there's hate speech? Sure. I believe there's hate speech. You know, if somebody comes up and says, I hate white people, that's hate speech, but mm -hmm. that's also free speech. What they're trying to do is say, well, hate speech, uh, that's different. That that's not free speech. And the, so the situation that we have with this, uh, with this media is they're deciding there. I don't want some individual that just got out of college two minutes ago deciding what is misinformation and what's disinformation, what is hate speech and what's it's not. It's the same way social media does with, with, with what's against community standards. Right. Because what I think and what they think is often two different things. Sure. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm, and I'm, and I've got to study this. I've got to study this more because you've got what they're doing is they're tipping their toe in both of these areas that they're saying, Hey, we own our platform so we can do what we want to do. But then when somebody raises We're not a editors. question, we, yeah, that's yeah. right. We are editors when we want to be. And then, you know, uh, but we can't be sued or taken to court for anything on our platform because we're not in control of that. Well, you don't get to do both. You know, and so that right. I would love to see. That's another thing I would love to see this administration do is to go, look, identify yourself. You know, if, if you're going to qualify as a free platform, then you don't get to decide who says what that's going to have to be. Now, I'm all for and I don't like government organizations, but I get that we need people to say, hey, we're monitoring pornography, child pornography, things against children, but it needs to be somebody that the public can control in my mind. It's got to be an organization of some kind like it is with television or wherever where we go and, and even that was messed up, you know, back when we had censors for the TV, it wasn't a government position, but everybody was coming from the same position. Hey, we all love God. We believe in the Bible. So we had very similar ideas of what was okay and what's not. Now we don't. But this whole idea of, I just got, I just got one of my videos taken down the other day because I questioned the idea that everything was fair in the, um, in the elections. And so they come on, oh, this goes against our community standards of, uh, well, what? I can't even say, hey, it looked like there were might have been some problems when we know there was. We know for a fact that Pennsylvania, against their own constitution, changed the election rules two weeks before the last election. We know that some stuff was done. Now, was it, mm -hmm. was it enough to have a stolen election? Well, I don't know about that. But the idea that, you know, that they are stomping on our free speech by saying there are just some questions you can't ask. That's no bueno in my in my book. 
But what do you think? How do we how, do you think this administration can go in and, and keep that from happening? I mean, is there a new sheriff in town, so to speak? <sighs> the problem is, if you look at electoral map, for instance, you, yeah. you have you have uh, states like California and Washington and Oregon, the West Coast, left coast. I mean, you know, right. The, 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 the West Coast and, and the East Coast, uh, I said West and left, that's the same thing. But uh especially the 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 new england states the new england states and the west coast tend to go liberal every time you have right. a couple of those thrown in the mix there you've got colorado and and uh i think utah maybe or nevada not utah but uh there's another another blue state right there by new mexico new mexico was was a blue state uh those, those, of course, it's long been known. The, the Colorado is a, is a is a liberal, uh, liberal uh, stronghold out there. Stronghold yeah. out there. Uh, so is so is California. So is Washington. So is Oregon. We we know those things. You will as long as they have the ability to continue to to push this this agenda, they will. And if, unfortunately, they also have the media backing them. Right now, the the the, the media establishment has really taken a good hit in the last few years and they needed to take a hit. They needed to need to take a, a really good hit. Yeah. And, and, you know, people don't even watch CNN anymore. MSNBC, they're trying to sell it right now. Yeah. I think, uh, also there's, uh, maybe, uh, CNBC, they're trying to sell it. I, I don't can't remember which one, but there's another, another, there's two cable companies, cable news agencies that are currently for sale, you know, because they're, they're, they're bleeding, you know, money because they don't get it. Right. They, they can't figure out why nobody's watching. Yeah. Nobody's watching because they're tired of the constant lies, constant lies, constant lies. Can't trust them. And they don't want to hear all that. Right. And you, they can't be trusted. Yep. You watch them, you watch them to find out what they're doing. You don't watch them to, to trust what they're telling you. Right. And we found that out four years ago. Yeah. When that, when that unnamed virus hit the country and yeah. you know, there, there we all were being told to do this, do this, do this, do this. And they were trying to strong arm everybody into something we found out later was all a bunch of lies. Yeah. Yep. And, and it's just, uh, it, it's sad is what it is. Well, so what do you think about this? Uh, so he's got bringing all these folks together that we just would have never seen together. Um, I, it, 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 it worries me. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I get it. Yeah. What, 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 I, what I find worrisome is, is, is the, is the number of Democrats that he has, with him now that that sounds good that he's building a coalition but the left hates these people yeah they're not going to be a they're not going to be a benefit in that in that way yeah they're not going to help bring well maybe some well, kennedy but... robert kennedy's gonna bring some people in yeah but for instance uh, uh tulsi gabby uh, uh, t- uh, t- whatever her name is tulsi t- gabbard t- yeah yeah her she's not I, I don't see her bringing hawaii to the table right yeah. it, it's just not gonna happen but uh, also, there's the pick of Matt Gates for for the uh, AG position. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't know what kind of lawyer he was before he came to Congress. But uh, I mean, do we need somebody like that in there? Maybe so. You know? Yeah, I guess we're going to find out. You know, if he gets you think, in, you think back, you think back to. I, that's not that I don't like Matt Gates. I like Matt Gates. I like his bulldog mentality. Yeah. You know, but and he don't take he don't take junk off anybody. Right. And yeah, you know, even as, even as a freshman congressman, he he didn't he didn't sit around and wait for somebody to tell him what to do. He jumped in the mix. You know. Yeah. And, and of course, his people keep reelecting him, so that says something about him. I really wish we had a guy named Trey Gowdy still in there fighting the battle, but, but he, he decided to bail, but, and that's his, that's his right. But, uh, I'm just, I'm concerned. My, my concerns are, are more related to probably the fact that, that like I posted on, on some, some, some Facebook page the other day about all this, you know, uh, the liberals are being nice. And you know, danger Will Robinson. Yeah, danger. Right, right. Yeah, what's it, going on? Yeah, they're they're you know, the whole the whole thing at the White House the other day with Biden. I was like, nah. Yeah, I mean, That's, what happened? So suddenly he's not Hitler. Suddenly he's not <laughs> going to destroy the democracy, and we're exactly. all playing friends again. What? what? Yeah, of course. Now we haven't seen uh, 
hyena girl since since the election. But <laughs> uh, sorry, but uh, I, I, at least I haven't seen her. I, I don't know. She she disappeared. Yeah, you know, I, she went totally off the radar. But my question is, who's running the country right now? And I'm probably the same person been running for the last four years. But anyway, yeah, that's just uh, it. Isn't it? It's and, and they're gonna they're gonna try to do some things in these next ninety days uh, that are gonna be uh, or sixty days are gonna be bad for our country. Right. They're gonna do all they can to push more money into Ukraine, and and I for one am, am, am sick of seeing money just go over there for nothing. Yeah. You know, there's gotta be, there's gotta be another way to do this besides just pumping money into it that's not not doing anything. Money that's not doing anything, and there's no accounting for it. Nobody's, and there's no accounting to... for it. Yeah. And I believe with all my heart that all this 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 aid that we give the other countries is nothing but 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 money laundering by some of our I agree our, our leaders. A bunch of that is being kicked right back into offshore accounts that we well, already or, know or, some people or own into their or into their uh, into their. Uh, uh, words won't come it's getting late uh it is they all have these they all have these uh trust or or uh foundations foundations that's the word oh right right yeah. you know the clinton foundation and, oh the clinton foundation had millions upon millions of dollars come through it yeah and all from other nations you know forking this money it wasn't wasn't from americans it was from other nations and you go look right. at those other nations we were probably pumping money into them sure and that money would find its way back in back uh, into ukraine yet. you know you don't get to 1.1 billion if you don't fire this guy over here you know uh we see all that kind of junk going on but nobody does anything about it right but yet they go after trump for for stuff that they make up yeah the corruption yeah. is so real uh yeah. but it's not where they're pointing their fingers in fact i tell people all the time when i get on these type of platforms if you watch the democrats do something you can pretty much just go ah it's the opposite if they say right. this is well, right, they always they always project what they're going to do on, onto republicans what they're going to do right yeah what they do you know watch him he's gonna he's, he's, he's gonna you know he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna deal one off the bottom and they're the ones doing and that's the, the one yeah that's right exactly and, yeah i'm and, i'm like you i'm a little i'm so just like i when trump came in at first i was like well let's see how it goes i'm kind of in the same thing i'm like with tulsi elon musk and this thing with vivek ramaswamy um hey i don't that's know for, that, let's see there's another one of those you know musk <laughs> not a republican this guy's and not he's, a the ele he's the electric car dude yeah you know? yeah and and so the, the left was helping him and now the left hates him and i can't figure all this out you know right but but also also one good note is that this time around trump is not going into the white house right blind or new with blinders on yeah or naive i really think he i really think the first time around he thought they were going to play nice and they yeah. started on day one by sending the F by the FBI sending sending them over to 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 entrap G uh, General Flynn in the very right. first day that they were there, and that's exactly yeah. what they did. They entrapped him on the very first day in office and began to try to dismantle his 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 cabinet before it even got started. And right. for four years, that's all we saw and all we heard from the media, from from the left, from everybody in, in between. That's all we heard. I think this time he's better prepared to deal with it. He's got yeah. he's got a better group of people around him who really have an interest in in seeing this country uh, basically come back from the grave. Right. Uh, for instance, making making uh, Mike Huckabee the 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 ambassador to Israel. I thought that was a great move. Oh, it's you know? just wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Because because Huckabee's all about Israel. And, yeah. and that's 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 great. You know, and there's been some other appointments I've been really excited about. Yep. But there's some others I'm like, mm, just yeah, don't let's know. Wait. Let's but, wait and see. Yeah. But what 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 I got what I gotta keep reminding myself of is this Trump ain't no he, he ain't no dummy. Right. And he knows he knows what in business in the business side of things, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And and in the political side of things, I think he has the right people around him at this point that they know what they're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he's not going to get caught up in that same scenario he got caught up in last time. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He knows. He thought before that maybe he was walking into a situation where at least some people would be friendly and helpful. And they wanted, they really cared about our country. Now he understands. No, there's a whole segment of that whole left hates our country, wants to burn it down, start well, over. And, and, it, and it's, it, it's even, even the ones he thought he could trust. Yeah. He couldn't trust. Right. Yep. But. I, I hope, you know, for instance, he had two, he had two attorney generals. The first one campaigned with him right and left, but as soon as an important issue came up, he recused himself. Yeah, right. And appointed yes. this other guy, the special counsel, who was out to get Trump. Yeah. Like, what was he thinking? I mean, yeah. why would he do that? Of course, it cost him, it cost him more than just that job because he can't get reelected now. Right. And you know, people, that. people in Alabama's like, no, dude, you, you're out of here. Yeah, you drop but, the ball. Yeah, and then and then you, you bring in behind that, you brought in Bill Barr, who you thought would have been a fair guy. Right. And here's here's my issue with the, with the Attorney General, and I may be wrong on this. I doubt it, but I may be. But <laughs> the when the left appoints an Attorney General, he is in lockstep with whatever the president's agenda is. Right. Yeah. What's his name was Obama's wingman. Remember? I can't. Oh yeah. Remember. Oh yeah. Uh, I can see his face. Little yeah. Weasel looking guy. Yeah. But, but yet when, when a Republican's in office, all we hear from the AGs is, well, I have to follow the letter of the law. I can't do what the president tells me to do. Right. You work. You work for the president. You can absolutely do what the president. Eric Holder. Do. Eric Holder. Eric, uh, Eric Holder. Yeah. Now, now you can say to the president, Mr. Mr. President, that's against the law. We can't do that. You can yeah. do that. Sure. But you don't have to not do anything because you don't want to look political. Yeah. Everything it's, it's, in Washington is political. I'm sorry. Everything's political in Washington. Yes. Yeah. They need and to start looking change. at this with, with Trump kind of like I do as a supporting uh, pastor at our church. Um, I may not agree with everything that my pastor, the way everything is done, but as long as he's not contradicting the word of God, the end game, I'm not going to say anything. You know, if, if, if I think we ought to have blue carpet, he's just convinced it needs to be purple. We're having purple carpet. I'm going to get behind it, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and I think that Trump is surrounding himself with people like that. They're like, they're not, they don't have their personal agenda. Their agenda is like, even with RFK, I really believe that he and Tulsi Gabbard, both of those pr prior Democrats, their big thing is, Hey, we're watching America be destroyed. Our free speech is being taken away. There's too much control from the government. RFK likes control. He just likes control where he likes control. He doesn't like being controlled when he doesn't like being controlled. So he's, I think we got to watch out for these folks a little bit. They're not, they didn't flip over. Well, I, did, I did hear Trump say something the other day about him taking over uh, health and human services. I believe what he's, what he's going to be. Yeah. Health and, yeah. Uh, he said, you know, he said uh, something about him. i turn him loose. And, and he, he said something behind that. Like uh, I'm going to turn him loose with restraint. You know, kind of, yeah, he's, you know, yeah, I heard him say something that he's like, I'm going to let him loose on big farm. I'm let him loose on this and this and this, but, but leave, but leave the, this alone. Leave the oil alone. Leave the oil alone. Yeah. 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 Leave these things alone. But, and, and if that's the way he's going to go at it, great. Yeah. Because there needs to be something done uh, as far as the, our, our medical in this country. Yeah. You know, I don't know. If, I don't know if the government has any control over pricing, but pricing has gotten just ridiculous. Right. And, and these, these drug companies, you know, you can buy something here for, for a hundred dollars. You can go to right there to Mexico and get it for, for five bucks over the counter. Right. You yeah. Know, we've got it, a, it, we've got a missionary down in Peru that can't get this medicine for himself that if he lived in France, he could get it free. And there you go. Absolutely you know, it's crazy. ridiculous. Yeah. It's crazy. So, well, and, Hey, listen, we're, we're any last thoughts. We're coming down to this hour and then I've got to go out and try to figure out how to shut my computer off because I don't have a mouse. So I don't know. Well, I'm going to, you're just going to be sitting there going eh, while I try to figure out how to shut it off. No, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to leave you with it, man. I'm telling you what <laughs> it's late. Hey, why don't you do me a favor? Pray for us to get out of here. Pray for us. And, uh, Hey man, thanks for being on. 
great. I mean, I think it's a, this is information we can bring out to our folks that are in our circles and other whoever sees it, where they can at least they'll have something to think about. You know, they've got they'll they'll have a place where they can go. Okay, well, hopefully they'll come to understand that we love the Lord. We are kingdom minded people. Uh, you know, but but this will give them a, a place that they can go and say, okay, let me think about this a little bit. And that's what that's what I'm hoping they'll do. Uh, pray us out of here. Father God, we just come thank you for this time together tonight, Lord. And uh, we ask you, God, to, as as always, Lord, we should have probably prayed this first, Lord, but to guide our tongues and all we say, and Lord, to help us to always glorify you in what we do. And Father, as, as we as we talk about our nation, Lord, as we talk about how how things are going to be affected by what's, what's coming, Lord, Father, I, all I know is we need you. We need you, and we need your son, Jesus Christ, and we need, we need your Holy Spirit to touch this nation as it's never been touched before. And Father, I just pray you be with us and watch over us, Lord, and guide and direct all we do. Guide and direct our president, Lord, as he comes in to to, to start this thing up in January, Lord. Just, just, Lord, make his path straight. Make his, 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 his efforts effective. And Lord, may he follow you also, Lord, with all of his heart. And Father, if, even if his heart's not in it, Lord, I pray you would lead him that direction. And Lord, use him for your kingdom and for your glory. And Father, that we can correct a lot of the wrongs that have been done. And we can, we can, make, we can make the truth the truth again, Lord. And Lord, I don't necessarily expect that to happen overnight. But Lord, what we desperately need in this nation is a great revival. Yes. And Lord, I pray that this may be the beginning of it, Lord. I pray that all the time, Lord, that this causes it, that causes it. Lord, I just pray that we see people coming back to you in this nation like never before. Thank you, Lord. Father, just watch over us, bless us, or bless Hoover for his efforts, and Lord, just help us in every way, and God and direct our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, buddy. Have a good sleep. Thanks for being part of this first thing. I got my uh, I got my little pointer back so I can, I can do things again. So I see that... we got a few people watched this. I don't know. If they stayed with us or not, we've got a few yeah. watches. Yeah, we'll check it out later. Oh, actually, I usually get quite a few more people afterwards, so this weekend will uh, will be a test of how many we had in our Yeah, it's mostly, mo look, it's mostly just been your family. Yeah, well, they <laughs> they love to hear me talk. What can I say? <laughs> all right, buddy. Well, we, I love them, too, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, all right, right, brother. Have a good night. Love you, man. Talk to you later. All right, well, thank you for joining.